Q and A. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, a live show. I don't do this. I don't do these too often. Just, just better do it once a week. Good morning, Northern Cali. <laughs> yeah, big football games. FA Cup, sure. Everybody loves soccer. Must be a bull market. If Rob is going live. I got to tell you, there's some very bullish indicators out there. I'm still a little bit hesitant, but I mean, I buy crypto every single day, so we'll see. Even if I'm wrong, I'm still right as time goes on. That's true. Mullet does have a point. Minivan is a chick magnet. If I wife ever divorces me, then I'll I have room for eight kids. So that'll be good. Uh, <laughs> I'm saving all the money I would have spent on soap and deodorant. That seems right. Yeah, I think he's right. Buffett's always said compounding is the key. It's very true. It all depends on what you want to do. Mm. That is uh, also true. That is also true. Compounding interest on in a depreciating investment or asset is not very, very, very great. Unless you can hold it and it goes up. I mean, Bitcoin hasn't been doing so hot for the last... Well, last year, but uh, over the last uh, two months, three months, been doing pretty good, actually. Yeah, haircuts and uh, shave the beard off. And every so often I do that because it gets a little crazy. Robbie Austin says, if XFP loses, are you selling your altcoins? Uh, no, if it, here's the thing. If XRP loses, like we had a discussion with this, it was uh, me buying me guy and and Ben uh, for the NFA live. And I, we asked this question. I asked, actually asked guy this question: If if XRP loses to the SEC, we don't think they're going to lose lose, but if they do, what'll happen? In the short term, you're going to see some major downside or minor downside. Who knows? People might be like, eh, whatever, because of course people will say, well, America is not the epicenter of everything. That's debatable, but I will tell you this. If the SEC wins, I guarantee I'm 99% sure that the market's going to uh, take a little bit of a dump for a while. So for me, if that happens, would I sell? Uh, you know, in all honesty, it's probably a for me, not for everybody. There's two ways you can play that. The, the one way is to go, okay, there's a XRP just lost. I'm going to sell a bunch of my crypto or half of my crypto or 25% of my crypto or all my crypto. And it's going to go down and we'll see where the bottom is and I'll start to rebuy. That's risky. It is because then you could just say, the market is like, eh, whatever, right? Like the, uh, like, like the debt ceiling, which coincidentally, the debt ceiling in America, we've raised it 45 times over the last 40 years. What's the difference? So we're, we've already hit the debt ceiling. We're above it. We'll probably just raise it up again or whatever. Or the government shuts down, which let's be honest, they don't do too much anyhow. So there's that one way to play it. Or you're going to say, you know what? It's going to go down. Well, maybe just like just like with the Fed Reserve, at the, the FOMC meeting, maybe just wait to see what the announcement is. And if the announcement comes out and they go, okay, we're going to you know raise rates by 25 basis points. Well, cool. Then uh, just keep dollar cost averaging and off you go. If they come out and say, you know what, we're going to pause rates, rate hikes right now. If they say that, the market's going to go up pretty quickly. So maybe you want to start buying a little bit right at that point when you hear that. Or if Jerome Powell comes out and goes, you know what, sorry, everybody. I know, I know you thought it would be 25 basis points. We're going to go 50 and or 75 to make sure we have a stranglehold on inflation. Now all you got to do is wait. Wait three hours, four hours, five hours, watch the market just dump and then start buying things and get it cheaper. So there's ways you can play it. Uh, same way if the XRP or if the Ripple case is uh, dismissed or it's a loss or it's a win, there's different ways to do it. Me personally, I'd probably just look at it and go, okay, if they lost, let me just wait for a bit. Let me give it a day or so, see how bad it goes and then just start dollar cost averaging buying some things, some really cheap stuff. And I would probably dynamic DCA and buy a little bit more because over time, it's not going to make a difference. All they're going to say is, okay, this, and like I've said before, all it's going to do is going to say, okay, we just decided, or the judge just decided that this is a security. Great. 
So now all everybody has to come in and say, and if, if this even goes through, because Congress has to actually say, okay, this is the definitive factor of what you would consider a security. Even though the law said this, this is how we see it. Then all you got to do is say, all right, well, now the project has to come in and say, okay, we're a security, we register it. They've already done that with EOS. EOS got, got fined in 2018, 2019. And uh, they say, you were an unregistered ICO. Pay the fine, move on. They did. Worked out just fine. And then uh, everybody, so those products have to do it. All the different centralized exchanges, now they have to register as uh, selling securities. That's on them, not on the projects. And then that's it. Those smaller projects, they get cannibalized because they can't afford uh, registering themselves as a security or take the time frame. And that's it. I will say one thing that would probably go to the roof is Bitcoin because they've already said, the CFTC and the SEC has already said, yeah, we pretty much think that Bitcoin's a commodity. So I would probably see that Bitcoin's going to go up crazy. That's a long answer. You're right. Frank the Tank says, I'm at 300,000 for the month. You never see my messages. Uh, well, Frank, let's see. Unfortunately, Frank, even though you've got a bunch of uh, steps, I hate to break this to you, but you're not even in the top 50. So look at January 23rd. If you have 300,000 steps, you are ranked number 64, maybe 63, somewhere around there. So I don't know what's going on there. But uh, again, try to sign up. The other one, be put on the list. Okay. Rob, what's your end of Bitcoin, end of year Bitcoin price prediction? I'm going to guarantee you right now, it's, between, it's going to be between $5 and $150,000. Yes, that's it. That's my Bitcoin price prediction. I'm pretty sure I'm 100% accurate in that one. So investment advice. I did saw an interesting one, Mark Yusko um, and Gareth Soloway. Gareth believes that we're going to go down like around 10 or 12K. And remi I'll remind you, he was right last time in 2021. And Mark was saying that we're going to see over 100K by June. I thought that was interesting. Or by the end of this year. So one of those guys is wrong. I'm just going to sit in the sidelines and go, well, if it goes up, maybe I'll take a, some small profits. But uh, if it goes down, I get the dynamic DCA. And off you go. Mm, yeah. That's why I, I like Sundays, because most people are off work. No. Hector says, you do any mining or run nodes? We do a stake pools. Uh, we did an avalanche one. It was okay. But uh, mostly with the Cardano stake pools. And I got I to gotta ask you, everybody, if you're on a, uh, an exchange and you're holding your Cardano there, why are you doing that? Like, did you not learn your lesson from FTX and Voyager and Celsius and God knows what else is going to collapse? Take it off the exchanges. Take off the, you can download a Yori wallet, Ada Light, or a Daedalus wallet right now. Put it on there. Control your keys. Delegate it to anybody you want to. I'm just going to say, might as well use uh, D News. We're 99% plus uptime, We're reasonable. We've uh, been battle tested and still making the plays. So uh, start to earn that 4 to 6% APY. Just saying. So uh, now we don't do the other stuff, but uh, the stake pools, yes. Mm. Uh, let's see. CTO Larson. I like that guy. Went hard on BUSD, claiming it had least risk last summer. Gun to your head, which stable do you choose? I guess USDC since you like Coinbase. Yeah, probably. USDC, but uh, I don't have any. I have very little in, in, in stable coins. I don't see the point. I mean, I, I saw the point before of getting yield and things like that, but I don't see the point right now. Especially if, uh, yeah, I don't get it. I, I don't, I mean, I guess if, you, if you're a trader and you're trading pairs, I get that part, but I'm not a trader, so it's not for me. Mm. That's a good question. Niners, Chiefs. Niners and Chiefs. Okay. The Cinemas Highway have a bail film with the next Fed report. What are your thoughts? 
I think it's, I mean, it's, if it's 25 basis points, which that's like 99% assurance, that's what everybody thinks it is. Then we'll see. You know what's interesting about that 99%? They say, well, they'll say, if it's, if it's going down that route and you think that people are so sure, then of course that's when everything uh, changes. So it'd be interesting to see if, it, if, it's at not, if it's 25 basis points and it comes in, they say 25 basis points, it begins to say, well, sometimes it actually works out like that. So um, I don't really have bad report, bad feelings about it. I have an interesting, it's an interesting piece that, uh, that they're trying to uh, recalculate the way CPI is done. I think that's going to be interesting, especially when we go into uh, presidential election season. So we'll see. <laughs> Thoughts on Jay Powell kicking the market's teeth next week? I'd love to see it. I would love to see a, a pullback. Yeah, and well, it's like once the news that Ripple loses the lawsuit hits the media, it will be too late to sell. True. And of course, if it'll hit the media, it'll hit Twitter first, I think. And I mean, the outlets will be there, but people will tweet it out. So always be aware. Twitter is the best place to find information. Not the most accurate 100% of the time, but it is if you can verify it. <laughs> the depth ceiling of life, she's telling me to stop buying stupid stuff. Yeah, but you know what? In 2025, when we're in this massive bull run, and you're like, hey, so what color Lambo would you like to have? I'm just kidding, but you know what I mean? Or like, hey, guess what? I just paid off the house. Now who's buying stupid? So remember that. Uh, Tristan said, did your channel gain some subscribers in FA? Yeah, a couple. I mean, I was... Uh, subscribers, it doesn't really matter to subscribers, honestly. It just... It just the views are nice, but the people that view it and actually listen to the message is nicer. Now we'll say that. <laughs> hope you fail me too maybe it goes above 150,000 or whatever it is pull back on the first of Feb we'll see <laughs> when are you going to run a Ethereum stake pool never I got to tell you if you can take a look at two different ways a tale of a tale of two stake pools everybody who's who's staked with Ethereum and Cardano, please sound out in the comment section which one is easier and better to use. That's all I'll say. I'll let everybody else answer the question for you. But I'll never run a Ethereum stake pool. Huh? When Mullet went, where do you DCA? And Mullet says, I don't. I'm a degenerate trader. That's okay. Mullet had a great saying. He said, it's amazing how a short-term trade becomes a long-term hold when things don't go right. This is true. Yeah. Eh. Cardano is very easy. You don't lock up. There's no slashing of rewards, which is nice. That's it. That's good. Lost my youth in Celsius. Never buying anymore. I still have all my eight on my ledger. Buying more. Yeah, I still have. I have. Uh, well, now I know it's way over six figure. I had six figures on Celsius. Didn't get out in time. It was a funny thing. Did a video on it on that day, and I did a couple of test transactions. Then when I was moving my four and a half Bitcoin, which was the first thing that I was going to go over, for some reason didn't go through. Now I got six figures sitting on Celsius. Five figures on uh, Voyager. But the five figures, may, maybe even less now because it was all the VGX token. I should have just sold all that stuff. Oh, well. Live and learn. That's it. All right, buddy. So that's it for today. Look, uh, if you like today's video, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. But it is Sunday. Time to watch a little football and relax. Enjoy the day and don't take everything so seriously. Yeah, it'll be fine. Anyhow, thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate everybody. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios for today.